What's poppin'? Welcome back to BRB Report. And as you saw, we came to the movie theater to see The Lost City with Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum. It was actually a really good movie. It was like funny, but not like raunchy or dirty or nothing. It was just like nice, good comedy classic Sandra Bullock you know her movies are always gems so it was very enjoyable I thought it was going to be very similar to the it's called Uncharted mm -hmm. right from Tom Holland movie like that same exact thing but they did a good job of varying I feel like the plot mm -hmm. it was very different and I don't know might have liked it more than that one yeah it was really funny we only watched like a few seconds of the trailer because we didn't want it to be spoiled but we were like oh it seems like a good plot line so we're like let's watch it has good actors so yeah it was really funny um, very unexpectedly good so, well not unexpectedly I thought it'd be good but it was better than I expected. yeah I feel like we didn't really have expectations about it but we were like well let's just go see a movie we want to go see a movie and, and this one seems like it's clean and good and I feel like it was one of the best movies I've seen in a while I feel yeah. like yeah so uh, I was pleasantly surprised but Bellevue Square is popping. It's crazy. There is an insane amount of people here everywhere because obviously in this area there's a movie theater, there's a bowling alley, there's Top Golf, there's like the 21 and over movie theater as well. The mall. The mall. So there's so many like groups of friends and kids. We think it's because spring break is this week and the following week, right? I think since Easter is a week from now, I guess this would be like the start of most spring breaks. But there's so many people just like going to the movies everywhere. I was surprised because that has not been the case, you know, since we've been in the pandemic, but yeah, since now they lifted the mask mandate and things are kind of going back to normal, it's bussing. Yeah. It's so packed, like there's no parking everywhere there's spots taken more groups of people coming so i'm so surprised i'm like wow we are back to pre-pandemic times i guess yeah everyone's out and about yeah so it's like 9 30 p.m right now um but we're probably just gonna go home and clean up our target items that we bought we did a quick target run before this and then call it a night. So yesterday we just got home and like got ready to, for bed. So nothing much happened. We didn't really show anything, but I am currently trying to pick my outfit for Sunday service. And I do not really know what to wear because apparently it was supposed to snow today. It's literally April like 10th. And it was wanting to snow, but it got pushed back. So it's not going to snow till Wednesday and Thursday, but it's just going to be raining all day today. And it's going to be cold. It's going to be in like 40s, low 40s. And I'm like, bruh, I thought we left this weather back in you know, December and January and possibly even in February. Maybe even I would allow it on March, but in April... I don't know. I feel like I haven't been here enough in Washington to know how the weather is supposed to be. But so that's the dilemma that I'm currently facing. Don't know what I should wear. If I should wear heat tech under or like just a super warm sweater because first when we serve for service, we have to go outside and put signs around the building and it's going to be like raining and really cold probably. So anyway, that's what's happening. Bailey's getting ready. I just put my moisturizer and stuff and now I need to like put my sunscreen and all the other good stuff so come get ready with us. Not much variety as you could tell here in my wardrobe but we are gonna try to find something that would be warm. I still have my ugly sweater here guys. Isn't that funny? I haven't put it away. It's right there. Um, but I think I'm just gonna go with the classic like a turtleneck to keep me warm and a heat tag because I don't feel like looking cute today. I don't really care about that. I just want to be warm. Okay, so I changed, but I took my jacket off because it gets too hot with the heat tag when I'm trying to get ready. So now we're going to start the whole shebang. Well, first of all, I need to put 
what it's called, sunscreen, yes, sunscreen on her head. Making it look cute. I have lots of baby hair, so I have to use gel. And make sure they don't go everywhere. I can relate as well, especially when I get my hair thinned out. I need it a lot. But we're ready. Now we're gonna eat breakfast. So our variety of cereal is this Ezekiel brand cereal, Cascade Farm Organic, uh, cinnamon. Oh, this one I think is like the not like a healthy version of Honey Bunches of Oats. And then this cereal is the healthy version of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So, Bailey, which cereal do you want? There's the Ezekiel, the Naka Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and the Naka um, Honey Bunches of Oats. Well, healthy version. Honey bunches, okay. So, this shall be it. There you go. Okay, are you guys the cereal first or milk first type of people? What are you, Bailey? I'm sorry, guys, if you're milk first. That makes no sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely cereal first type of person because then I can know how much milk I don't like my cereal soggy the proper way, guys. The milk proportion is dependent on the cereal amount. That's what I think too. But if you like milk first, you live your life. Can't forget some dessert in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> some breakfast danishes. We made it to service. It's currently second service ongoing and we already attended the first one and we went to go take the signs back in and now we are hiding in the restroom. I actually just actually didn't need to go. Yeah, but it's a learning new venue now and it's very open. So if you talk, it feels like everybody in the service can hear you because there aren't any like doors where they're at. So we kind of feel like there's nowhere to like chat or anything. So we're in here. <laughs> yeah, there's like, Nothing. Even the rooms. I don't even know if they're soundproof or anything. They like whispering out I there. As you find it, it's practically how you have to talk out there. Okay, so it was a whole ordeal to clean up everything because it was one of our first times taking down at that new venue. Um, but we took the longest. We had to delay the ops team to put everything into the big cart that we put everything for church. But now, happier things are happening. <laughs> ramen! We're gonna go get ramen with the people who we served with at Kalos. And we are at Bellevue Square. We're gonna try this place called Kazuki, I wanna say? Yeah. Something like that. It's up by where Uniqlo is in Bellevue Square. And yeah. yeah it's exciting because actually the other day, Brescia was like, I kinda wanna give ramen another try because we don't really eat ramen much. And we should try it and see if we like it. Yeah, so here we are giving it another try. Okay, so after lunch, we headed over to Happy Lemon because we did not want to go to the one in the mall. The one in the mall is crazy packed all the time, but we came to one in a different location in Bellevue and Bailey got a brown sugar boba drink and I got a Oreo puff. It was called Oreo cream puff milk tea. So it has like this paste as you could tell, like that with Oreo and it's wrapped around the cup and I guess it's supposed to taste like Oreo but there is this place in the Bay Area that's called T4 that was my favorite it had a black tea blended Oreo boba and it was the best drink ever okay. nothing compares to it and I don't see it at any other boba shop 
I have not found it. So I want to drink that one again at some point. Um, but we were really craving boba for some reason and we got that. But now I need to go to Marshall's to take a return of a dress and then we're gonna head over to Costco.